happening now at 5. You saw it first on WSFA 12 News, a major shakeup at the state Supreme Court. The Chief Justice calling it quits. No show. Why Country Crossing developer Ronnie Gilley didn't show up in court to testify for fifth day. My expectation is that leaders are going to lead. And President Obama lets his feelings be known about Congress and talk of the nation's deficit. Coverage. Community. Commitment. This is WSFA 12 News at 5. Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Fuller. And I'm Valerie Lawson. Another loss for Alabama Democrats today, a surprising announcement from the state's highest courts. Last year, the Democrats lost the legislature in a statewide election. Today, they lost their Chief Justice, Sue Bell Cobb, in a news conference. WSFA 12 News broke the story this morning. Reporter Sally Pitts was there for the announcement. Sally, the question everyone is asking now, why? Well, Mark, the Chief Justice did not go into detail. And the governor being a Republican is likely he'll appoint a Republican. That would mean not a single Democrat would sit on the high court. Sally, you mentioned funding. Chief Justice Cobb has appealed to the legislature on numerous occasions for more money. And Mark, she did not get that money. All right, Sally Pitts reporting live tonight. With Cobb's departure, Public Service Commissioner Lucy Baxley will be the only Democrat holding a statewide elected office in Alabama. President Obama held a news conference that we streamed live on WSFA.com, tackling a number of issues today. The president discussed topics ranging from Libya to gay marriage, but the overriding theme was a tongue lashing for Congress. He says lawmakers are not doing enough to come to an agreement on raising the debt ceiling. WSFA 12 News anchor Bob Howell has the story. Well, several Democratic members of Congress release a new video in support of the gay and lesbian community. And another dramatic scene in the Casey Anthony trial today as her father breaks down on the stand. Plus, why Tylenol is pulling some of its merchandise from store shelves. Democratic senators in Washington are reaching out to gay and lesbian teenagers in a new video out today it is for our loved ones to have to hide such an important part of themselves. But over time... 13 senators appear in the video, which is part of the It Gets Better campaign, meant to help combat suicide among gay teenagers. They urge gay youth to seek help when feeling bullied. The release of the video comes five days after the New York State Legislature legalized same-sex marriage. If you're looking for a place to call home, an entire town in South Dakota is for sale. The 46 acres in the township of Scenic comes with a gas station, grocery store, post office, two empty jails, and the Longhorn Saloon. The price tag, $799,000. There are nine residents in Scenic. I can't believe anyone's living there. Hmm. Obviously, with nine <laughs> it looks like people, a ghost town. the tax revenue is just non-existent, mm -mm. I would imagine. Well, Rich says there are more of those afternoon storms in our future. He's also talking about a hot weekend coming up. Your new forecast is next. Here's Moxley, who belongs to Hunter and Lara Lewis of Millbrook, enjoying the pool on a hot day. There you go. That says a lot. That's really cool. My dog won't have anything to do I, with the water. I think Laura and Hunter may have may have placed Moxley <laughs> in oh, that position. Sure. <laughs> but is she very comfortable in that position? Yeah. A lot of questions about that picture, uh -huh. but it's uh, cute. Maybe a little help. <laughs> Staged. Yeah. Thanks. Perhaps. Thanks, Rich. Yeah. Well, getting instant news and weather has never been easier than with our new news app. Right, the new WSFA 12 News app became available just last week. Many of you have already downloaded it. It's available for both Android and iPhone users. Just go to your marketplace or your app store and you'll find it. Search for it, download it for free, and remember to delete the old WSFA News app. This one's better, of course, Valerie, because it has video mm -hmm. and it also gives you a chance to customize it more to your own uh, likings and it makes it easier to find things so it's pretty cool and it looks a lot like the weather app mm -hmm. on your phone so don't delete that one you want to keep that one but um, add the new one because it is great I, yeah. I use it all the time I get up in the morning and that's how I check my news mm -hmm. and the weather app is great because of that radar pinpointing the storms mm -hmm. in your area right there from your phone that's right right in your hand well that's WSFA 12 news at 5 we're glad you started your day with us stay tuned for NBC nightly news have a good night
Right now at 9, the aftermath of a huge fire at Tuskegee. Find out how the university is recovering. North Florida is remembering seven members of one family who died in an Alabama plane crash. But first, America's looming financial crisis. Will there ever be an agreement in Washington? The latest negotiations, one hour earlier, on the news at 9. The showdown over America's debt, nowhere near an end tonight. Hello and welcome to the News at 9. I'm Mark Bullock. It is getting a little ridiculous at this point. Neither side budging, and America's good name is hanging in the balance. Already, Standard & Poor's is considering lowering the country's credit rating if an agreement isn't reached by August 2nd. Experts say if that doesn't happen, an economic calamity could ensue. Today, the president tried one more time. Kate Baldwin has the latest from Washington, first at 9. An update now on a story that was just developing at this time last night. Tuskegee University has begun the recovery process after lightning set an on-campus apartment building ablaze. The building, known as Commons C, is a complete loss now. University officials are already meeting with contractors to start the rebuilding process. Only three students were living in the building at the time, but it holds 72 students. So now the mission is to make sure that students who were going to move in this fall have a place to stay. Not too many people will be minding uh, getting a little bit more wet weather mm -hmm. around the area. It's nice to see a, a wet phase move in after all that it dry is. weather. Thank it's you certainly. so much, Jeff. We'll introduce you to some extra lucky Harry Potter fans coming up. And in sports, all-star high school football at a newly renovated Crampton Bowl. Plus, how SEC coaches are improving their skills as well this week while in Montgomery.